Alright, so now we're gonna try mm, the if mode, I think it's called. If. Experience the ending from another perspective. Yeah. Why not? Mistress. Mistress! Oh. Mistress, please come too. Is she alright? She seems to have fainted from shock. Mistress. Also, it's like right at the ending. Oh! How's Aya? She's sleeping soundly. Just leave her be for a while. Right. Uh, will you be alright? Don't worry about me. I mean, oh, I just skipped too fast. Are you truly a dead person? Huh? I'm sorry. You just seem different from the other corpses somehow. I still sense life in your eyes, so it's hard to think of you as dead. Well, it feels pretty unbelievable to me that I'm up and about right now, too. <laughs> I'm sorry about before. I mistook you for an attacker, so I impulsively threw a knife. Oh, I see. At that one part. Don't worry about it. I probably would have done the same thing. Thank you for saying so. Maria. Mistress? Let's always be together. Mistress. Is she awake? No. I think she was talking in her sleep. What are we going to do now? I wonder. Not to mention you. We corpses are only being kept alive by the power of the curse. Once it's completely gone, I'm sure I'll vanish. I see. Even when you've helped us so, I can't do anything for you. I'm truly sorry. Don't sweat it. This is always my fate. And no one can defy fate. Aww. Where would you be going? It feels weird sticking around in a girl's room. Can I borrow one of the other ones? I don't mind. Use any room that's available. Thank you. You have to live to and protect- you have to live and protect Aya. That's your fate. That was Monica's wish too. Which is why you were left here, I bet. Oh, Monica, our mom. You need not worry. I've already decided that I must live to support the mistress. That's good. Yeah, cause she changed gear real quick. Whoa! Look around the mansion. Check, 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 check. I'm checking, don't worry. I bet there's no gems for me. Oh. Thank you for saving her. There's just one last thing. Say goodbye to her in my place. I have no right to face her anymore. Oh, Mom, please. Wait! I didn't see her until the end. Oh, that was her mom. Why did she save me? If it was for the sake of helping Aya, surely it didn't have to be me. I shouldn't bother thinking about it. Whatever her feelings were, she saved me. There's no changing that fact. Thank you. Oh, she saved us from whenever she threw stuff at us? Dolls in a glass case. We are in a victim's perspective now, so I wonder if he'll say anything about the dolls or the corpses. And I doubt corpses will attack us even, right? Well, no, we saw a lot of dolls kill corpses. Gross. Uh. Hey, it's the old man! The youngster, eh? You first came here as a servant too, I'll bet. Same for me, but I wasn't like the others. I was taken in to be a servant, not as raw materials. That was back when the woman was alive. As I worked here, I came to learn the true nature of this family. I fled in terror as fast as I could, but I couldn't make it away. I thought I was pretty clever about it too. But that woman saw right through me. She's scary sharp, she is. A woman who can read hearts. Can brainwash people n no problem. Yeah, she well and truly tricks you. Do you mean to imply Monica brainwashed that scientist? Whatever kind of person she is, her feelings about her daughter are real. She's a fine mother. Ha! <laughs> well, what do I care? You can think what you like. Oh, so like Monica is worse off than I thought. I was taken into this mansion as a human being. Maybe if I hadn't tried running, they wouldn't have killed me after all. 
Oh, oh, sorry. My bad. I didn't mean, you know, enjoy your bath. Alright, let's check in here. Oh. Ogre. Ogre, what the frick is all this? Ogre, what did you do? Enjoying tea? What's that, blood tea? What are you up to here? Ah, my, my. How good to see you're safe. Has the knife wound healed up already? You appear to have recovered quite well. Thanks to that medicine of yours, huh? Good, good. Who in the world are you? You're not from this mansion. You don't seem dead to me. I'm just a passing salesman. Mm, salesman of souls, I bet. I've witnessed some amusing sights indeed tonight. Love is truly is a truly magnificent 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 magnet magnificent thing, isn't it? <laughs> For love, people will become crazed, fighting and hurting each other. How foolish and how pleasing. You're enjoying all this? And if I said I was? Hell is your goal. I have no goal, so to speak. Oh, <laughs> I just enjoy observing deranged humans. He is the devil. That is so creepy. Oh, you're not human, are you? <laughs> no, but as of late, I've gotten a bit bored with mere observation. I've decided to find some new amusement. Indeed, perhaps I, like he, would take part in a puppet show. Oh, shut up. Oh. Now you know. I like virtuous humans like yourself as well. It wouldn't be entertaining if this world were full of nothing but lunatics. It is the presence of good people that allows you lunatics to shine. Such is why I didn't let you die. So if you would, please, stand against the madman with your justice. When the time comes for it, I'll be watching closely. Oh, he's creepy. He is the red-eyed devil from that one uh, storybook that we read. Who gave the girl the power um, to set stuff on fire. Oh, she's awake. Sorry, Snowball. You've always been at my side, but I kept thinking I'd be all alone. Will you forgive me? Ho ho. Snowball, too, is a dear member of the family. We're gonna go say hi to them. Hey! How you doing? Ah, oh, good. You woke up. Yeah. Whoa! I'm terribly sorry. The mistress seems a bit shy. We decided to leave the mansion. Right. That sounds good. We're going to leave all our past behind in this mansion. The mistress and I will start on a new life now. Oh. Is something the matter? You don't look pleased. Be careful of that red-eyed man in the black coat. What do you mean? <gasps> oh. It may even endanger the mistress? Very probable. Oh, I'll bear that in mind. May what if the red-eyed one was the one who poisoned us? He just, like, transformed into, like, an old lady? The black coat? Well, this is goodbye. Oh, <laughs> poor snowball. Goodbye, Aya. May you be smiled upon. Now go. Get out of here. Goodbye. Oh. So cute. Imagine it's like locked. <laughs> they couldn't leave. Yeah, what do we do? That was kind of like where we left him. Back to a lonely life again. My time here was my salvation. Even given what happened there. Still, she saved me. Those few days were irreplaceable. Her hands may have been cold, but her heart was so warm. I'll never forget the people I met there. 
Aren't you going with them? Oh! A doll? Guess the curse hasn't worn off completely. Hey, don't you want to go with Aya? Don't you be lonely? Can't be with the two of them. They learned I was alive. <gasps> I feel like they make me pay. He isn't dead? This makes no sense! Wait, what? 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 If they learned I was alive? But we saw him fade away! They're trying to move forward, so I can't be dragging them down. So I'll be living on a different path from them. Okay, suit yourself, I guess. That I will. Hey, do you believe in the threads of fate? If you and I and Maria are bound by one of those, then you might meet somewhere again. So long as we live in the same world, I can't deny that that could happen. If you meet again, what will you do if Aya's taken the same path as her father? What do you mean? What else would I mean? Don't they have this, that saying? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree? It's impossible. She knows the subject's pain better than anyone. To think she would take the same path as him? I mean, I said if. Well, what did you do? If that happened, then I would stop her. Could you stop her? I would try to, no doubt. Hmm. Well, good luck! Oh, I'm getting kind of sleepy. I'm going to bed. Good night! Are we gonna take that doll with? Good night. Now throw that doll in the fire! <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Just... Bye! So we're alive! That makes no sense! How does that make sense? Make it make sense! Oh, Aya's future with the apple. Were we the one who tried to kill Aya? Giving a poison apple, maybe? Because he found out about it? Oh, it's so confusing! I need like a whole like lore dump situation because I have no idea. Hold on, I gotta see if I can like look any of this up at all because I am so confused and curious. Simply referred to Aya's mother in the Japanese version is the late wife of Alfred and Aya's mother serves at the game's main Italian. She passed away about a year ago. Mmm. Personality. Monica is initially portrayed as a kind, forgiving woman who tends to overlook others. In truth, Monica is not as innocent as she appears. She can be quite manipulative and can easily read people's hearts. During her youth, she often sends letters to various killers, asking them to tell her about the various murders they committed. She was also quite fascinated by her grandpa's research into turning people into dolls. So that wasn't even Alfred's thing? No, because he just killed. He liked their faces, but he just killed, no? Um, where was I? To doll, turning people into dolls and couldn't understand why her aunt was against it as she thought uh, what her family was doing would allow people to leave more of a mark on the world. In spite of this, her love for her family seems to be genuine. Monica's diary reveals that she adored her grandparents and didn't want to disappoint, disappoint either of them, despite both of them wishing different things for her. While Monica was alive, she frequently doted on her daughter. Uh, she even tried to prevent Aya from learning the truth of her death, only relenting when her daughter chose to save Alfred instead of taking her husband away with her to the afterlife. On the flip side, Monica had no problem trying to groom Aya into becoming a cruel individual so that she could carry on the legacy of Monica's grandfathers. Oh, though Monica did allow her to grow up rather freely. Monica is also quite in love with her husband, Alfred, and was deeply hurt when she discovered he was cheating on her with the maid. Yep. Never could talk about it. When she learned that Alfred was planning on to turning Aya to adult in order to preserve her innocence, she threatened to leave with Aya in tow, which Alfred killed her. She admits Aya to Aya that she still loves Alfred and couldn't bring herself to kill him. Yet yeah, she was obsessed with people with murderers, it seemed like. Monica also appears to be a good cook, occasionally cooking Aya's favorite hamburger steak. Or sirloin steak. Oh, there's a 2020 remake. Monica also implied to have interest in charms. Yeah, if we read about that. Um, book has said in another chapter, only seeing a blood mail about birthing a boy, which implies that Monica hoped to have a son instead. 
Ah, so Monica did want a boy instead, I guess. History prior to Mad Father. Monica sending letters to hundreds of killers every day asking, yeah, we saw that. Born into a Jewish family who ran a cult to sought to create eternal beauty, sacrificing many weak and poor people in their mad quest. Monica's grandfather was the current leader of the cult, and his research would slowly lead to the discovery of turning people into dolls. She and then her aunt disapproved of it and eventually causing her suicide, though it's impossible the cult made it look like one in order to prevent them running out to others. Oh, see that? I can believe. Oh, here's the old man, Monica. And Alfred hired an old man to serve as a servant. He appeared to enjoy his job until he learned the family takes weak and homeless people to turn into dolls, realizing who he's working with. Fear like the old man planned to escape. However, Monica managed to discern that their servant did not approve. Thus, she chased down and killed him. So the mom killed him. <laughs> That's insane. At some unknown point, Monica would come face to face with Alfred, who initially attempted to kill her, but decided to spare her for unknown reasons. Feeling thrilled by her brush with death, Monica fell in love with the violent and psychotic side. Uh, she would begin to send him many letters confessing love, inviting her him over to visit her home. Last note, she sent a map. Alfred eventually visited her after the two gave, got married. Oh, so she just fell in love to her killer. Monica would start coughing three years later. Jai's family, his family. Oh, Maria enters, and then, yeah, we knew that at some point. Oh, at some point between the events of Monica as a ghost, she would revive a young boy named Robin who was killed by Alfred. She instructs him to, on the anniversary of her death, to find her Aya and flee the mansion. She then kisses her, his forehead says, "May be smiled upon." Yeah, so I guess that means he would be alive. Uh, Monica makes a blink and you'll miss it appearance in the bedroom once Aya obtains the archive key and begins. Okay, so what about Alfred? So he, was he just like a killer and that was it? Wife deceased. Alfred, husband, appearance, personality. Hee <laughs> hee, so creepy. He's so. Oh, I don't remember this version. Maybe that's older? He looks so purple there. When did he have a suit? Oh, he had a suit on. He was walking around. That's right. Oh, there's knives on him. And then it turned into scalpels. Ooh, it's so creepy. Whoa, what was this? Light blue bed. I, I do not. Oh, this is a me cell? Well, that's different. Okay. Alfred, psychopath, preserving beauties, making doll. But eventually, in his youth, Alfred was not a goat. He often killed small animals. His mother disapproved. And he killed his mom. So he was still- so like, he was into the beauty part as well, I guess. Uh, there's surprising later sides in him, though he did kill his own mother. It was made quite clear that Alfred loved her as any son would. Um, while trying to raise his daughter, he began to notice Ayaz appeared to be going down the same path he did when he was a child. Not wanting to her to turn out what he did, he attempted to raise her to be good while teaching her the right from wrong. So he knew what he was doing was bad, and that's why he went. Okay, so that's why he was like, you should say sorry to the animal and all that. Mad doctor also implied to have a dark sense of humor. During his chase with Aya, Alfred rather childly attempted to scare his daughter by shouting, boo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Um, a diary implies that there's a part of Alfred that regrets how he turned out, though beyond trying to raise Aya to be good. Hmm... Yeah, he attempted to kill her, but spares her for unknown reasons. Try as he might, he couldn't forget his mother's pretty face. This would lead him to killing other people to see their faces. So he, like, because he killed his mom when he was- when she died, I guess. Man. Should the player- Uh, bonus scene where Alfred managed to- Yeah, clone- to create an older clone of his daughter, Aya. Dang. That's insane. That's insane! My good lord, though. It was really good lore.